Okay, folks, we have a complex hazmat emergency up here in Northern Europe. They're finding iodine-131 uh, in very unexpected levels. Now, while they think this is coming from Russian soil, think about all of the Arctic air that has been coming down over Europe. It certainly hasn't been hitting the Americas, but they've had a serious cold wave there for a while. Fukushima's poison may have gone up into the Arctic and poisoned the seals up there, remember? Maybe that's what's coming down uh, on them now. We also had a fairly... Uh, fairly large uh, set of earthquakes hit Papua New Guinea. We also had a vehicle accident, a boat sank, and that's actually being blamed on some harsh weather. And we, uh, once again, have pretty bad flooding in uh, Queensland, Australia. This has been going on for a while. Having a look at the induction magnetometer, we can see this little blip here. That is a PC1 pulsation, and given the fact that we're about a week away, a week removed from strong solar activity that was uh, geo-effective, this probably indicates the magnetosphere is trying to repair itself. Uh, hopefully she'll get her stuff together. We're going to be showing you this a lot more in terms of geomagnetic activity. These are the different Canadian magnetometers. And it's a good day to introduce you to this because things are mostly quiet, mostly green. Um, so it'll give a good frame of reference when things are not quiet. We had a little spike here just after 1 o'clock UTC on the ACE LE electrons, and there was also a pretty good spike uh, on the ACE HE proton flux as well. But folks, this is something you can probably ignore. It may even be a glitch. Um, certainly nothing to worry about. The GOES proton flux didn't register anything at all. In fact, it's been falling, uh, and the GOES uh, electron flux didn't register anything either. Folks, we've been really watching the solar active region that popped out of nowhere yesterday. It was in a ring shape. It's mo morphing around very quickly, trying to become magnetically complex, but it just can't seem to do it. A for effort, little guy. Uh, just a beta spot. It is just about on the uh, center of the Earth-facing disk, so we'll see what happens. We also have this coronal hole uh, formation that uh, is putting forth a strong, juiced up solar wind stream that's probably going to be hitting us in the next day or so. Let's uh, make sure we keep an eye on uh, some of the solar active regions, especially that one just on the top left there uh, of that coronal hole feature. Uh, tonight on Perilous Earth, uh, I'll be a guest with David Rathbone. Uh, tomorrow I will be on Cosmic Obsession with Francis. And uh, a little later today I'm putting out a much longer video than these two minute news. Uh, it is opinionated. Uh, it's an opinionated video, but it's going to go into solar activity, earthquakes, the magnetic ribbon, all that good stuff, folks. So keep an eye out for that later today. Be safe.